Hey guys, Super Cool Dave here. I'm currently playing subsistence. In this episode, what I'm going to be doing is looking at the new fishing mechanics. Uh, I'm going to look at how to craft the new fishing rod, how the tackle is used, how many of each type of fish you catch on average, and what you actually catch, uh, what you actually get if you um, fillet each type of fish. I'm going to be testing in the main lake here, and I'm going to be testing in the three smaller lakes as well. So first things first, you need a fishing rod. The fishing rod is just six sticks, six pieces of cordage, and four pieces of scrap metal, and it can be just crafted in your hand. Now, for the um, fishing tackle, it is just one stick, one cordage, and one tree grub. And that's also crafted in your hand. And for each uh, of all three items that you craft together, you will get one piece of fishing tackle. You get the tree grubs from these very large trees, you know, the big fat ones. And as you're chopping them, every sixth piece of wood that you get, you'll get a tree grub. So these only give out six. So that's three, four, five. And as you can see now, six, I got a tree grub and I can't do any more. Uh, you can do that every at least once a day or every single time this tree is ready to chop. And you can do it to all the large ones that are six trees. It doesn't work on any of the three trees or two trees that you might find around. Only the six trees. Now, when it actually comes to casting, if I grab a fishing rod, uh, you can see I've got pe six pieces of fishing tackle. Now, fishing tackle only works if you cast into water. If you cast and you hit the ground... You can see casting failed, but it will still cost you a piece of fishing tackle, which is a huge waste. Uh, the reason I bring up that, because it's not like you're just going to go around casting it against the ground. It's just that you're here and you want to go fishing and you're not paying attention. If you cast too far and you hit the rocks on the other side, you can see cast failed. And I've just wasted another piece. Another place you can't fish is in the stream. So if I just run over to the stream, just like so, I'll probably get it from here. If I cast it into the stream, you're going to see I get a message. Oh, that said cast failed, so I must have hit the ground. I'll just go around a little bit closer. Like so. So here's the stream casting the fishing rod and cannot use tackle in rivers. So that was a big fail. Now, when it comes to fishing in the main lakes... Uh, the way you cast is you've got to hold down the right click and tap the left click really fast and it will chuck it roughly where you're looking. Now you can use the right click to reel it in closer. Um, and every time a fish grabs it and pulls it under, you want to hit the left click really fast. But if you do it too quickly, you can see the strike failed and I lost another one. So I only have one left. It only, and you'll use it even if you catch a fish. Uh, you get to keep the fish, but you will lose a tackle, so they are one use, no matter what. So what I'm going to do is head over to my little fishing spot I've got set up, and we'll start doing our testing. Okay, so I'm at the first fishing spot, which is just on the edge of the big lake. So what I'm going to grab is 15 pieces of, uh, 25 pieces of bait, and I've got nothing else in here, fishing related. So what I'm going to do is cast... 25 times and I'm going to keep track of how many small fish and how many salmon I catch and I'm also going to uh, gut them all and I'm going to see how many fillets of meat I get and how many pieces of oil I get from each fish so what I'm going to do is grab my fishing rod I'm going to get ready to cast it out and then I'm just going to chuck it out like so I'm just going to wait for a fish to bite Normally it doesn't take long, anywhere between 5 seconds and about a minute. And the split second it goes under the water, you're going to smash the left click and try and uh, snag it. You get about 2 seconds from when it goes under the water to grab it, otherwise it's a fishing failed. What I'm going to do is skip forward to the point where it gets pulled under by a fish. And if it's taking too long, every now and again, I'm just going to give it little clicks to reel it in closer. Alright, here we go. We just caught our first fish. So now we've got it. We're going to reel it in. It looks like a small fish. Um, 
So it's almost in, and when it gets close enough, you just want to hit F and pick the fish up. Like so. Yeah, it's definitely a small fish. What I'm going to do straight away is I'm going to right click and harvest the oil. A small fish has given us just one small oil. And what I'm going to do is do this another 24 times. Okay guys, I have finished fishing in position 1 and what I ended up catching was 15 small fish and each one gave me 1 fish oil which totaled to 15 fish oil total. Um, so that wasn't too bad. Now I managed to catch 10 salmon and each salmon gave me 2 fillets. That's why I have a total of 20 fillets. Now with the, in regards to the oil Six of them gave me two oil, and four of them gave me three oil. Uh, after 25 castings, that means I ended up with a total of 39 fish oil and 20 pieces of fillet. Now, we're, I'm going to go to the first lake, and I'm going to see how it compares to being down here with the big lake. Okay, guys, so fishing spot number two is at the first of the small lakes. This small lake is on the west side of the map because as you can see just up ahead you can see the sun raising at the moment and the sun rises in the east. Uh, this small lake is the one that's sort of out in the open field uh, right near where the new lake is, where that new big lake is. So what, are you gonna, what I'm going to do is I've got another 25 fishing tackle. And I'm going to do the exact same thing, and I'm going to cast it out 25 times and keep track of what I catch. Alright guys, I have finished casting 25 times and these are the results from the second fishing spot which is the first small lake that I went to. I caught a total of 18 small fish which gave me 18 fish oil. I caught a total of 6 large fish which gave me a total of 17 fish oil and uh, 5 of them have gone rotten but I had 12 pieces of fillet. Uh, out of the large fish, five of them gave me three oil, and one of them gave me only two oil. Now, that only adds up to 24, because one of the castings, uh, when I snagged a fish, I hit the wrong button and I broke the line. So I had one fail. I'm now going to head to position three, which is the second small lake, and I'm going to try again there. Okay, guys. I'm at Lake 3. This lake is the one that's right at the center of the map. It's the second small lake. And this is the one that's right next to these very large rocks here. 
on one side, and on the other side is that dense pine forest. What we're going to do now is I've grabbed another 25 of these fishing tackles. We're going to cast out again, and we're going to see what we will catch from this lake. Okay guys, so I finished uh, 25 at the fishing spot number 3, which is at the middle small lake. And what I actually caught was 13 small fish, which gave me a total of 13 fish oil. And I caught uh, 12 large fish. I got a total of 24 fillets. Uh, 5 of them have already broken down into a pile of rotten meat. And I got a total of 29 fish oil. Because I had five of the large fish, the five salmon, give me three fish oil. And I had seven salmon, give me only two fish oil. So this level had, uh, this lake, I seem to have better odds of 12 large to 13 small. What I'm going to do now is head to the fourth fishing spot, which is at the very uh, east side of the map, where the sun rises. And I'll continue from there. Okay guys, so I'm at fishing spot number four, which is the third small lake. And it also happens to be the largest one. This one's at the very east side of the map. So the side there, the sun rises. And for reference, it's also the one that just there where the big rock is. That's where the big, um, it's like a big rock arch with a small cave that's off to one side of it. And in the background over there, that's where the mountain is. So what I'm going to do is I've got another 25 fishing tackles. And I'm going to see how many large and small fish I catch in this lake and look at the results. Okay guys, so I finished in fishing spot 4. Um, I did get killed by a bear at one point. Uh, I managed to uh, grab new stuff when I spawned in my house. Uh, because I was keeping notes and I knew I'd caught 6 fish. So I grabbed another 19 fishing hooks to bring it up to the 25. Came out and caught the uh, extra 19 to bring the total up. Um, so in this row here. I actually caught a total of 8 large fish, or 8 salmon. So I got 16 fillets in total. Uh, I did lose some when the bear killed me, but my notes I've got, say, 16. And for the oil, I got a total of 19. I've only got 14 here because, once again, I lost 5 due to the bear. Of the 8, 3 of them were 3 um, oil, and 5 of the fish gave me only two oil. Now when it comes to the small fish, 
I caught 17 of them. Uh, four of them I had caught before the bear killed me, so I've actually lost four. But I've still got the 13 here. But according, I'm going to buy go buy my notes for the um, final tally. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add up the results. From one, two, three, and the fourth fishing spot. And I'm going to average everything out and see what I come up with. So see you in a sec. Alright guys, I'm back. And I've finished crunching the numbers. So out of a total of 100 castings, I caught 99 fish. Of those 99 fish, 36 were large salmon. And 63 were small fish. Now... Every one of the 63 small fish gave me exactly one oil from every single one for a total of 63 fish oil from the 63 small fish. Now, with the large salmon, as I mentioned, I caught 36. Um, each one of the 36 uh, total together gave me 89 oil and 72 total fillets. Now, the fillets is easy because you get exactly two from every single large salmon. And the oil, you will either get two or three. Now, 89 oil divided into the 36 salmon gives me an average of exactly two and a half. That means there's a 50% chance you're going to get two and a 50% chance you're going to get three. That means over... The day you can guarantee yourself you're going to average two and a half for every large salmon. Now, as only 36% of the time you are going to catch a large salmon, compared to 63% of the time you're going to catch a small salmon, uh, not a small salmon, just a small fish, uh, that drops your combined total to an average of 1.55 oil. Uh, Per fish. That's completely average no matter how many you catch. You should average about one and a half oil. And the fillets drops down to 0.73 fillets. So over the whole day. You catch 10. That means you're going to average 7.3 fillets. So that will most likely be 8 or 6. Because you're going to only get multiples of 2. Uh, now, excluding all prep time... Excluding craft time, excluding everything, just purely standing here and fishing and reeling in, I averaged 85 seconds per fish. The quickest I caught one was 10 seconds, and the longest it took was around 3 minutes for a fish. Now, sometimes I got 3 or 4 quite quick, and the worst case I got was that I actually got like 6, 7 fish in a row, where every single one was almost the full three minutes. So be prepared to lose entire days. And every single one of those fish could be a small fish. So it could be a huge loss. Um, the worst run I did was 10 small fish in a row. And the best I did on the large salmon was I actually caught four in a row. So I thought that was pretty good. Um... Averaging out between all the sites, it appears that there is no discrimination. Um, once you start breaking all the numbers down, it is all pretty similar. Like, it's, yes, one looks slightly better than the other, but when I do uh, test runs off camera, um, the one that did the best could do the worst the second time. So, it doesn't look like there's any difference. These... A few downers, um, when you're fishing, if an animal attacks you, like I got attacked by a bear, you've got to, you can't stop fishing. You, or you can rip your line out, but you're going to lose your bait while you try and kill the bear, or you can wait it out and hope that the bear or the wolf or even hunter doesn't kill you. So what I'd probably recommend is when you find your favorite fishing spot right near your base, I'd build like a, like a little fisher hut. Surround yourself in, even build it out in the water a bit, and just fish down through the hole. Um, because some shots I was throwing that really close, and sometimes I throw it really far away. And I found it makes absolutely no difference. 
obviously I prefer to throw it further away because I feel like when I'm getting bored and nothing's getting caught, I reel it in a bit closer and I find I quite often get a bite pretty quick after that. Though not always. Sometimes I'll throw it, wait a minute, nothing, bring it in, wait another minute, bring it in, wait another minute before I finally catch one. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask. I've got a whole ton of notes, and so I might have forgotten to mention some stuff. And obviously, keep this in mind that this mechanic just came into the game. So this information could change at any time, but it will be a very good base to... Uh, work on for now and I hope you found this helpful uh, thank you for watching